Hello guys and welcome back to Best Car Picks. The 2025 Porsche 911 has picked up hybrid power for the first time in its 60-year history, resulting in significant increases to the outputs of its flat-six engine. Porsche's new T-hybrid system will at first be exclusive to the 992.2 generation 911's Carrera GTS variants, though the entry-level 911 Carrera hasn't been forgotten in the major mid-life facelift, gaining a small amount of power and receiving equipment upgrades. 2025 Porsche 911 Carrera GTS Headlining the changes to the 2025 911 is the flat 6 engine in the Carrera GTS, which has grown from 3.0 liters to 3.6 liters, lost one of its two turbochargers, and gained a new T-hybrid system. The T-hybrid works through the addition of an electric exhaust gas turbocharger, which sees an integrated electric motor placed between the compressor and turbine wheel to eliminate turbo lag, as well as acting as a generator, contributing as much as 11 kilowatts. A permanent magnet synchronous motor is now fitted to the 8-speed dual-clutch PDK automatic, there's no manual. It provides an additional 41 kilowatts and 150 newton meters, and draws on a 400 volts, 1.9 kilowatt hours lithium-ion battery. Porsche's new 3.6-liter engine now relies on an electronically driven air conditioning compressor, not only reducing load on the power unit but creating space for its pulse inverter and DC-DC converter. The changes have resulted in a 45 kilowatts power increase and 40 newton meters torque rise compared to its predecessor, with 41 kilowatts thanks to the hybrid system alone. Both the Carrera GTS with rear-wheel drive and all-wheel drive Carrera 4 GTS variants share the same outputs. 2025 Porsche 911 Carrera The twin-turbo 3.0-liter flat-six engine is largely unchanged on the base 911 Carrera, save for an intercooler from the more powerful outgoing turbo, and turbochargers from the pre-facelift GTS. This has resulted in a power increase of 7 kilowatts, as well as a saving in its 0 100 km per hour time. Both the coupe and cabriolet are rear wheel drive only and feature an 8 speed dual clutch PDK automatic transmission. Let's look at what's different across the standard 911 Carrera and Carrera GTS range. Rear wheel steering is now standard on all grades, as are new look wheel designs varying in size between 19 and 20 inch at the front, or 20 and 21 inch at the rear. All 911 variants also benefit from the fitment of matrix LED headlights, resulting in the departure of bumper-mounted driving lights in favor of larger air vents to channel more cool air to the radiators. Additional cosmetic changes include a new full-width rear LED light, a new rear grille and retractable spoiler, a revised rear bumper with new number plate location, and exhaust outlets integrated into the diffuser fins. Carrera GTS variants build on this by adding Porsche's Dynamic Chassis Control PDCC anti-roll stabilization system, powered by its hybrid system, a variable damper system, 10mm lower ride height, active front cooling flaps and diffusers, plus optional HD matrix LEDs. A $5,700 aerodynamics kit available exclusively for the 911 Carrera GTS coupe grades adds a sport design front bumper unique front spoiler and side sill panels, and a fixed rear wing. If you're a 911 purist, you may be surprised to know the sports car now has a push-button starter, rather than a physical key or the rotary dial of previous iterations. A cooled center console storage compartment is designed for smartphones to remain at optimal temperature while charging, though this isn't as big of a technical upgrade as the 12.6-inch fully digital instrument cluster, a 911 first. No longer does the 911 have a central analog tachometer, with a screen replacing it. Don't fret though, there are seven customizable displays, one of which is inspired by the classic design. While its infotainment touchscreen's size remains unchanged at 10.9 inches, Porsche claims, the customizability of the driving modes and the operation of the driver assistance systems have been significantly improved. Hope you enjoyed the video. Do subscribe for more such interesting content, thank you for watching my video.